Back in the mid 90s, a team of developers were working at a video game studio called Single Track. If you're as old as I am, you might remember titles like their critically acclaimed series Twisted Metal. They were a month into a 10 month deadline to deliver two games for the original PlayStation. 10% of their project timeline had been consumed by rendering a single black triangle on the screen. Even back in the 90s, something that simple was like a day's work tops. But to the development team, this represented a massive breakthrough. Because that triangle meant that their entire pipeline was working. In their own words, it had passed through new modeling tools to, through two different intermediate converter programs, had been loaded up as a complete database and rendered through a fairly complex scene hierarchy, fully textured and lit. Though there were no lights, hence why the triangle came out looking black. The hardest, riskiest part was done. That same day, they had complete models on the screen, and within a week, they had an environment to move a model through. And what I personally took away is prioritizing tackling the riskiest, most uncertain element of your work first, even when it seems like the smallest or least impressive deliverable. Heck, it, you know, it might not even be a deliverable. It could just be a stepping stone towards one. So here's my challenge for you. In your next sprint or iteration, identify your black triangle. What's the one thing that if it doesn't work, changes everything else? Build that first. Prove it works, and then build everything else on top of that knowledge. In my previous company, I encouraged this approach and saw a measurable decrease in late stage project pivots and a significant improvement in delivery predictability. But more importantly, we created a calm environment for our engineers. The most successful projects weren't the ones with the most impressive demos early on. They were the ones that tackled their scariest problems first. If you found this useful, subscribe for more practical engineering leadership content. And until next time, prioritize your risks, not your comfort zone.